what is up what's up what is up fs club welcome back to the channel and welcome to construction simulator let's play this is episode three so if you guys have not taken a look at what two and one make sure you guys do before you check out this video and like always before we get started guys make sure you guys do hit that like button remember if we hit over 150 likes i will post out the next episode the next day later well you know what let's get into this we have some uh some alien stuff to do <laughs> seriously look we have a new UFO. All right, so what we are doing right now, well, it says enter flatbed truck, but we are doing a special, yes, special delivery. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and enter there. Okay, oh, it actually tells me I need to turn the lights on. Uh, let's go right here. Lights. Um, Let's just turn some headlights on, there we go. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now you only have to drive this thing out of the city without anyone seeing you. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, uh, wait, do I got to reverse? I might have to. Oh, yeah, camera controls. That's right. Oh, okay. yeah. Everybody knows I have really good. Oh, there's a hammer. Let's get the hammer real quick before we leave. Right. Let's go right here. And this should make, what, two? Yep, two out of a hundred. The heck is that sound? Sorry, I just heard something. I was like, what? All right, so no one's supposed to. Okay, what happens if someone actually does see us? Do we fail the mission? Hey, which way are we supposed to be going? Okay, it was telling me to go that way. Now it's telling me to go this way. Okay, how far is this? 900. I mean, looks like it's like pitch black. I don't see... Oh, we see someone. You don't see nothing. Just pretend like you didn't see nothing. Okay, we're 500 more. Oh, now we're, now we're right behind the van. Great. Nope, you don't see nothing, dude. Why are you to be going so slow? Man, that thing looks dented up on the side. Just glad you didn't turn. All right, 400 more. So I bet you what we're going to have to do is we're going to set this thing up to be like, you know, a uh, tourist attraction. Like people will be like, oh, no, a UFO. Probably like crash landed or something. But that is a very, very small UFO. Okay, over 300 meters. All right, here's a good question for you guys to put in the comment. Well, your answers. Do you believe in UFOs? I'm not going to answer that. I'll let you guys, you know, make your own decision on that one. I'm just very curious of how many do and how many don't believe in UFOs. Yeah, this is a very uh, curvy road right up here. It's going to be fun going down here. Oh, we're going to stop on the side of the road. I see a hammer. And right, let's go. Okay, camera. Cooperate with me. Can you jump? Yes, you can jump. Okay, so now that makes three out of 100. One of these days, we'll, we'll collect all of these. It's probably going to be like in multiplayer because usually when I'm in multiplayer, everybody else starts collecting them for me for some reason. Farming Simulator, we do, you know, our streams and guess what happens? Usually I get collectible, 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 collectible. Which, remember guys, tomorrow this game comes out to all platforms. PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and S. So, hopefully sometime this week, I should have maybe some multiplayer. We still haven't even hit level 1 yet. Seriously? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and I guess park over here. Looks like, oh, looks like we have another one. Okay, right there. Rumor mill stage completed. Okay, enter the backhoe loader. First, I'm doing this. Yep, there we go. Now we have four. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh, looks like we're excavating a trench. This should be fun. 
All right, let's first turn on some lights before we can see what... Whoa, those are bright. Okay, that's full. Okay, where are we putting this? I guess we'll just put it right over here. Put it like right here, I guess. It's going to take me a minute to get used to these controls. Okay, so that right there, just that one scoop was 37%. Okay, back down. Let's get some more dirt. Just don't get stuck in here, right? Okay, this should be the last scoop right here. I'm telling you, I know what this is going to be. It's going to be me putting this thing like it crash landed right here. Oh, going to have to have another scoop. Now this should hopefully be the last one. Okay, camera, come on, work with me here. There we go. Clear the marked area. I wanted to see what happens. Okay, so I guess we gotta put it right there. Let me dump this first. Okay, let's turn some lights off. And exit out of that. Okay, now we need this into operating mode. Okay, got the UFO. Let's extend it. Oops. Well, now it really crashed, huh? Okay, drive mode. Oops, got to switch that back. Reset. Now drive mode. Okay, drive to Haps companies. Okay, drive to Haps. Okay, do we have that unlocked? Let me see. Yes, we can fast travel. So let's go ahead and fast travel. Okay, so we're going right over here. So is this like your headquarters, maybe? Open gate. Oh, there's Hap right there. All right, speak with Hap. At last. There you are. Now all we have to do is keep our mouths shut and see what happens. But one thing's as certain as the sun rising in the morning. The people in this town love rumors and headlines. Soon, everyone will be talking about the glowing object from another world. I'm sure of that. And all thanks to your help. Good job. Listen, to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've done with my life. My career has been rock solid, but I also think it's high time that I retire. My business is small, but in good shape, and it needs someone to pick up the reins. And I honestly can't think of anyone better for this job than you. So, what do you say? I'd stick around for a while to help until you're on your feet. Deal? Of course it's a deal, right? Okay, so now acquire company. Here we go. Congratulations on running your very own company. If you want it to succeed, you should stop by regularly and familiarize yourself with everything. I recommend you first take a close look at the upgrade levels and start meeting the goals listed there. It's the only way to qualify for the big jobs in town so you can someday leave this place behind. 
you should also take a look at the vehicle fleet and the finances to see what it takes to manage your construction equipment and get an overview of your financial situation. But the most important thing is fulfilling the orders. It's the only way you can make money to keep expanding your business and afford new construction equipment. So get to it. Running a company isn't an easy job, but the best way to start is by getting started. The rest will work itself out. Trust me, and I'm still here for you. Oh, thank you. Okay, right, so now we own the company, so this should be interesting. It's a very... Hey, look, FS Club Incorporated. There we go. Oh, jeez. You have advanced in player level and have received a new skill point. Hey, we reached level two. All right. So, I guess let's... The UFO landing is slowly but surely attracting a few tourists to the village. Now it's time to use the momentum and complete a few jobs here in the village. Uh, upgrade level S reach new company expansion available. Do you want to open the expansion level menu now? Okay, let's. Oh, okay. So the upgrade level S, M, and L represent the size of progress of your company. Each level brings improvements that you can unlock once you have earned them. The card on the left is your level card. It shows what goals you need to complete to reach the next level. The cards on the right show you in detail what is needed to complete a goal. Once the task is completed, you can unlock your reward here in the menu for a certain price. To advance with your company to the next higher level, all tasks on the respective level card must be completed. Okay, so right now we are on the small level. All right, so we got, let's see, we have to own three construction equipment, which we own two, it looks like. Uh, looks like we need to buy company premise two. Uh, to finance the move to a larger company premise, you need to have at least 150,000 credit in your account. Uh, you have to get an expansion contract. Uh, so we unlock the construction helper. Construction site. This construction helper does some task on the construction site for you in no time at all. You can find the construction helper in the context menu under. Also, can get a loan up to two hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. Let's see, parking. Uh, parking area in the yard of the company premises have been expanded. From now on, you can move out ten construction machines at the same time. Uh, you can now have your own workshop on the company premise with the automatic repair in the vehicle hall. All v all stored construction machines are repaired 1% a minute free of charge. That's not bad. Okay, so there we go with that. We have, let's see over here. We have after completing the starting campaign, you will find different types of building missions here. The campaign section allows you to continue the main storyline of the game. In the contract section, you will find different types of construction jobs. You can play all the campaigns and contracts, both alone and with friends. So now I finally got it to where, you know, we can actually play with friends. Uh, and we got, of course, the map, which you guys all know about. Uh, okay, then we got company. To run your business successfully, you shouldn't leave the fate of your company to chance. From here, you can manage your company as you continually develop. So, of course, we got the upgrade levels, which we were just going over these. We got our vehicle fleet. Uh, here you can find other construction machines that are currently in your possession. Purchased and rented vehicles can be returned, sold, or stored in the vehicle hall from here. When you take out construction machine from storage, it is placed on a free space on your company premises. Uh, you can recognize the vehicle you are currently using by the steering wheel. If a vehicle is already occupied, it cannot be entered in the same way it is not possible to get into transported construction machines. Under the respective detail view of a selected machine, its condition is shown and whether a repair is necessary. Use the sorting function of the truck uh, pack to sort your construction machines by manufacturer, vehicle class, and condition. Repeatedly press the displayed input to cycle through each sort. Okay, so right now, the only thing we own is a backhoe loader and a flatbed crane. Jeez, we barely have anything. All right, then we got the warehouse, which is all your company's construction materials are managed here. Goods lost along your way are returned here when put into storage. So in the world section, you can see all the goods that you own but have not stored in your company. This means all the goods that can be found anywhere in the world. By storing goods in the world section, you can recover goods that you can no longer find. Your team will then take care of recovering the goods and return them to the warehouse in no time. So we got uh, we got the world one. 
We got the warehouse. You can store leftover or duplicate building materials from the game world at any time. They will appear, then appear here in your warehouse. Add goods to your material list to have them delivered in the next step. Use the filter to check the active orders to see if you might already have some of the needed goods in stock. And then we have goods issued, which in the goods issue, you can deliver building materials to the loading zone of your company's premises or have them automatically loaded into the loading zone of your construction machine. You can also have the goods delivered directly to the construction site for a delivery fee. If you are no longer in need of some of the building material, you can sell them via the goods menu. So that's that right there. So pretty nice. Then, of course, we got the big one right here, which is milestones. I mean, sorry, finances. This section covers all the important information regarding your company's outgoing and income. You can also apply for loans from here. So here you can find a graphical overview of the current financial situation. When you take out a loan or rent or buy a construction machine, the income the incoming costs are automatically debited from your company's account. The lines help you to keep track on your current account balance. Blue, your income green, and expenses in red, as it should be for forward-looking entrepreneur. So you got your overview. You got your seven-day. It is worth taking a look at your finances every now and then. Here you can get an overview of the income and expenses of the past week. If you are particularly interested in the balance of a particular day, you can take a look at it in detail. Herefore, just select a day in the list and confirm with the displayed input to open the daily overview. Kind of wish something like this was in Farming Simulator because I hate you can only like, you know, check a few days and that is it. Also, would like to have the statistics in Farming Simulator. The, uh, you know, if you're on single player, actually come over to multiplayer. I hate that it's not in multiplayer. Okay, then we got loans. Here you can take out loans and pay them back. Loans are large packages of money that are immediately credited to your account. Note that you have to pay interest on a loan daily until it is fully repaid to the bank. Oh God, they shouldn't have gave me loans. You can only take out one active loan at a time, but as your company's sales and value grow, your credit limit will increase. Okay, so we got that, which we can take up to $250,000. Okay, then of course you got money transfer. Huh. What's money transfer? Personal account and you got your company account. So I wonder if like, say like, you know, Michael or something like that comes on here with me. If I can actually transfer money to them when they like work. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's the company one. Then we got profile, which in this section, you can find all the information about you and your player profile. You can view and improve your skills, see the general game progress and or access the manual. So we got the manual right here, which, you know, it's going to tell us about everything about the game. We got our skills, which this is something we're definitely going to have to look into. You can experience by completing missions and exploring the game world. When you have earned a certain amount of experience points, you level up and receive a skill point. You can improve your skills by investing previously earned skill points. To do so, select a skill and press the displayed button to spend a skill point. The skills are part of your player profile, so you keep them even when you start a new company. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so... We have, don't we have one skill point? Oh, I think we have one. Yes, available skill points. Okay, one. So we can either do bucket capacity so we can hold more, bulk material capacity, asphalt capacity, fitness, which means you can probably run faster and climb better, concrete veracity, uh, crane speed, fuel efficient driving, wear efficient driving, and good business sense. Could do this one. Because right now we need to build up our company. So there we go. There's our first one spent. Next, we have progress. This uh, section shows you what you have already achieved in the game, current game and what challenges are still waiting for you. Uh, select a progress card and see on the left side what still needs to be done to fulfillment. To complete the overall progress in the statistics, the progress must be 100% complete with the company in both the EU and scenario and the US scenario. Wow. All right, so... This looks like it has 12 campaign missions. Uh, contracts looks like over 50. Locations, you got machine class, capital, 50 million. Wow. Company expansions looks like there's 26 milestones. And then, of course, you got the multiplayer. There is a lot to this game. And then you got, of course, your stats, which that's pretty nice. Okay. And then you got online. So you have to complete the opening campaign first, didn't they? And you get your crew. Cool. All right, I guess let's let's exit out of here and see what happens. Oh, I got to complete three side contracts now. Okay, so let's get jobs. Let's get contracts. Oops, jobs. 
Contracts. Let's see what we got here. We got land develop. Uh, this is in the village. So construction stage, there's five on that. We got a commercial building, which is 100,000. Three stages on that. Then we got a parking lot. Um, let's, let me see this uh, commercial building real quick. Okay, so what we got to do with this one, we have to fabricate walls, which we're going to need a multi-trailer, which we do not have. We're going to have to do material deliver, which we need a multi-trailer. We need a fast erecting crane, which we do not have. We have play, uh, fab, prefabricated wall placement, which we do not have that. Uh, we have ceiling component, which we do not have that. Ceiling construction, being like every single thing we do not have. Now, let me check this real quick. Land development. Okay. So, this one, we need a dozer. and We got to flatten. And then we got to do some excavation. So we need to rent an excavator. Then trench. And then we need a flatbed. Okay, we do have the flatbed. At least that's something we actually do have. Uh, material delivery. Component placement. Unpacking. Earthworks, which we still need a dozer again. And then debriefing. Oh, wow. Um, let me see something. Three. And then three. This one needs... Yeah. So, these jobs are actually a lot complicated than they were, like, say, in the first two. All right, so we're just going to start off with the first one, the land development. So, let's go ahead and start that off real quick. So, first things first, we're going to have to rent some construction machines, which is the dozer. So, let's go ahead and how do we accept contract? There we go. All right, so we actually... Oops, I did not read that. I bet it's meaning that, you know, the more we upgrade, the more contracts we can take at once. Okay. So, job land uh, development accepted. Okay, so, first things first is we need to rent a dozer. So, let's go ahead and... Um, I think we got to go to vehicle dealer. Yep, let's go to the vehicle dealer. Thanks to your help, the village is gaining popularity... Again, families want to move back here. Also, there is a new piece of land that we can finally develop. Okay. Well, right now we need to go and go to the vehicle dealer. We have $110,000. Maybe we might have enough for a dozer. Who knows? Come on. Let me... You guys going to let me go? Probably not. I would fast travel, but this thing is like right down the street. I also need to keep my eyes peeled for some golden hammers. I love stopping. Okay, yield. I don't see a car. Let's go. Curb check. Okay, big curb check. So this is the vehicle dealership right over here. I guess it's telling us to go right over to here. All right, let's go ahead and get out. Okay, where do I need to go? Looks like right over here. Okay. Find all information about this dealer. So if I click this, okay. At the vehicle dealer, you can rent or buy construction machines. Go to the entrance area and enter the dealer with triangle. Uh, the sales room of the vehicle dealer can also be visited via the map in the running game with, you know, the touchpad. Rented construction machines incur daily costs until they are returned. Uh, purchase... Construction machines are permanently yours. Some construction machines are only unlocked when you have completed the game start. Uh, at the beginning of your career, buying a vehicle is an expensive business. Take advantage of the opportunity to rent construction equipment from the vehicle dealer. This costs a small fee, but it gives you the flex flexibility to test construction equipment and then decide to buy. A purchase may be worthwhile if you use certain construction equipment frequently. Okay. So, let's go back over here. Let's go to enter. Oh, got to hold it down. Okay, here you can buy or rent construction machinery. At the beginning of your career, buying a vehicle can be a big financial hurdle. If your bank balance is not sufficient, you can temporarily rent the vehicle you need from the dealer for a fee. Use the filter to function to sort the vehicles by function or manufacturer. In the showroom, you can find additional information about all construction machines and view them in detail. Okay. So, I think we they said we need a dozer. So, that's what we need to look for. Um, we do, we got excavators over here. 
Okay, the dozer's right there. It's $167,000. Oh, you can actually look at it in the showroom? Let me see. Oh, look at this. In the showroom, in addition to important information about each construction machine, you can also see its appearance and detail in advance. Discounts that you receive on the rental or purchase price are also listed and credited here. Consider at your leisure whether this is the right time to buy a vehicle or whether a rental is sufficient for now. All right. So right now there is no discount, but this is what it looks like. That is nice. I like how you can actually do this. So we're going to go ahead and rent this dozer for $3,340 a day. Yikes. All right. So I think we just rented it, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, where is it at? Okay, enter the dozer. Where is the dozer? Oh, it's right parked right next to me. So there is the dozer. Some construction machines are not roadworthy and should be transported to the construction site by vehicle trailer or via fast travel on the map. We're going to do fast travel on the map. Okay, so where is our place we're going? Oh, it's right down the street, like right here. Okay, let's go ahead and fast travel right there. We probably just drove it down the street, but yeah. Oh, okay. How do you drive this thing? Okay, I got to figure out how to drive this. Dozers are used to push large amounts of earth in front of them or to break up soil. They drive on tracks and use the lower bowl blade to level areas of the... Yeah, okay. But I'm just trying to figure out how to drive this. Let's turn on the help. Okay, so how do you drive this? Let's see. So to steer, you do this. But how do you move? Switch camera distance. Okay, I don't I don't know how to move on this thing. Um. Oh, okay, that's how you move. Oh, okay, that's backwards. How do I go forward? Nope, that's backwards. Stop. Oh, so that moves that track backwards. Okay, so how do you move those tracks forward? <laughs> I can't believe I'm stuck over here. Steer track to the... Okay, what about if I push these things both? Oh, okay. I see now. Just takes a minute to get used to. Oh, now this thing moves. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start flattening level. Okay, how do I move this thing now? Okay, just like that. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, now back up. It's, yeah, I'm telling you right now, it's going to take you guys a minute to get used to this thing. Believe me. Okay, let's put down that back again. I need to back up and put the thing down again. Okay, stop. Okay. Let's go this way. She's going too fast. It says 40%, so. I probably should put that up. Oh, cool. So you hold this down and it actually tell you what you need to still work on. That's neat. Okay, bring that back up. So we're at 64%. Oh, if you're playing this on PlayStation 5, guys, I think it does have the dual sense on it. So I can feel my controller shaking and everything. Okay, 75. Got that over there, too. We'll get this little bitty area right here. Oops, no, right over here. There we go. Okay, now we're up to 80.
Come on. It's looking a little bit better, right? Come on, let's go this way. Okay, 85. Okay, we have a little bit more to go right over here. See, it's weird because you don't actually control it with the uh, with the joystick at all. You use the, uh, you know, your R2, L2 and everything to actually move it. It's getting flat though. Oh, nope. Okay, 89%. 93, 95. Not looking bad, right? At least to me it's not. Seven ninety-eight. Come on, there we go. A hundred. Okay, clear the construction site. Look at that. A trench must be dug for the house connection. You can also rent a suitable excavator from the vehicle dealer, or you can just use your backhoe loader. It's up to you. Probably do the backhoe loader since, well, it is free. Anyways, guys, we'll be doing that in the next video that will hopefully be out tomorrow because we hit that 150 likes. And remember, if you guys did enjoy the video, remember to hit that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. I'm telling you right now, I love this game. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.